Local law enforcement are joining a state effort today, taking the flame of hope across Minnesota. It's all part of an effort to support Special Olympics. More than 70 different agencies are part of this relay, covering 2,000 miles across the state. The route winds through southeast Minnesota for 95 miles, and it's traveled by foot and bike. A lot of the athletes have uh, are, are immune compromised, so there's a lot of those challenges and other uh, physical issues. So this means a lot to them. Uh, we're not going to have them participate today because of COVID again. Um, but it's symbolic in the sense that we're still here, we're still supporting them, and uh, we hope that, that one day in the future we will be fully back to full competitions and all the excitement of everybody being together and socializing and competing like, like they really want to do. After their early morning start in Rochester, the runners and bikers are making stops in Zambroda, Lake City, Red Wing, and ultimately Hastings. The relay ends with a regional competition for bocce ball and softball in Woodbury, and that's taking place on Saturday.